Hi everyone, Yaku from To The Touch here and in this video I'll be introducing our brand new EG series panel. I'll be going over some applications and some features that we feel universities and high schools will find useful. So in the background, I am working on a 65 inch unit. However, we also have a 75 and an 86 inch unit available. I am playing a video currently displaying the 4K resolution compared to the standard HD we are all used to. And the panel also has its own built-in sound system. So no need for any extra cables or messy speakers to have exceptional quality. wherever the panel might be situated. The front of the panel is also covered in tempered glass, making it extremely durable and will last you for years to come. All right, so with the quality and the sound touched onto, I'm gonna move over to the PC interface and just touch onto a couple of things and then I'll start to run through all of the applications. So standard on the PC interface, you get your note program, which is your whiteboard program, which I currently have open and I will be demonstrating how to use it in conjunction with Google Chrome. You have your capture program, which will capture anything on the panel, record it, and then you can save it afterwards and send it on to your students. Then you have connect, which is a application to mirror either your mobile device or to take control of the panel from your mobile device. And then the last feature which sits on the Android side of the panel will be ScreenShare Pro. Um, that's this little six digit code over here that allows you to share laptops and any content from a mobile device, as well as split the uh, panel in up to four separate screens. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the Node program quickly. I'm just gonna go into it this is the main interface of the note program and you have your following set subject matters maths english science chemistry and then the note interface all of these do have separate subject tools which you can use in conjunction with one another then this little icon over here is the desktop icon which will minimize the note program but keep it active so for instance let's say you are working on youtube and you want to point out some things for the class it's as simple as clicking on the annotation tool, making the annotations. You can then save it and send it on as an image or simply click on the mouse button and go back to the computer. Now, the next feature I want to touch on to are third party streaming applications and then our capture software. So what this panel allows you to do, it allows you to present, broadcast and record a lesson all from one panel at the same time. So let's say you have students in the class, in or at home, and then you have students that will need the content at a later stage. You cater for all three of them by doing one lesson. So I've already activated my Skype over here, or not my Skype, my Zoom, and I am currently in a meeting ready to start sharing my screen for my students to see the content. Now what you can do is you can open up the Rook Capture program and then you have the following options. Now edit and cameras. Edit will use afterwards and cameras are just an uh, option to see which cameras are active and what camera angle works best. I'm just gonna click on the record button and then as soon as you click on that, you'll see it goes to the full size of the panel. Now over here, you can add your cameras to add picture in picture or you can add your uh, audio, separate audio devices to capture audio that way. I'm just gonna start uh, showcase how I'm sharing my screen. So I'm gonna say start record there. And as soon as that timer is done, everything I do on the panel will now be recorded. So if you then go into, let's say the program, you start sharing your screen, you choose which one you want to share. Now let's go with the main program. I'm gonna start sharing my screen. And now anything we do on this panel further will be shared with your students and you can continue on like that. Remember that it's also being recorded and everything will also be, you will be able to manipulate everything afterwards. Now I'm gonna quickly go back into the note program just as a demonstration. I'm gonna go over here, open up the chemistry, and then I'm gonna quickly implement a periodic table, duplicate that table and compare that with the next element in line. And with a few touches of a button, you can see 
I changed the atomic structure of those two elements. So let's say your lesson was short and sweet like mine is, then you can say stop sharing your screen, which will cut the connection to all of your students, open up capture again and say stop recording. Now once this is done, it will be manipulated into an MP4 format, which is widely recognized. And if you're happy with the content, it's as simple as pressing the export button and then saving it onto any of the online drives or your computer or any attached external devices. If you're not happy, it's as simple as going into the edit software and then you can edit the track down accordingly. So let's say you want to quickly just cut out some dead air in the beginning of the video, like I had there, uh, let's just forward, like I had until I, I shared, start sharing my screen. So as soon as that is done, I'm going to press the pause button click on the little scissor and there you can see I've split the track accordingly. You can also take out any content in the middle of the track and remove dead air that way. Afterwards, you have the option to zoom into content on the panel, uh, specific content on the panel, do transition so that's a fade in and a fade out effect, add text and watermark. And then once you're done editing, it's as simple as pressing the export button and then saving it in onto any of the online drives or connected devices. All right, so that was a basic overview of the broadcast and capture for everything. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna move over to the Connect program. Now, Connect allows you to connect any mobile device, would it be iOS, Android, tablet, or cell phone, doesn't matter. And this allows you to manipulate the panel accordingly. So you can send videos, feature, uh, images, or actually draw on the panel it's up to you how you would use it. It's as simple as opening up the app on your phone, scanning the QR code provided, and then once that's done, you will be connected. So now from here, you do have a couple of options available. So let's say you wanna upload an image of a microphone. You can upload that to the panel. It will be manipulated into an image. And then once it's on the panel, you can move it around, make it bigger, smaller, or simply draw on it and say this is a microphone. Other features are the screen projection. So if I go remote desktop, I can control the panel from my phone. This is dependent on Wi-Fi frequency. So depending on your signal strength and the strength of the line, this might take a couple of minutes uh, or it will be instant once the connection has already been active. So as you can see there, my connection is now active. And if I do anything on the panel, it will subsequently be drawn or moved accordingly. This is a nice feature if you want to stand in the back of the classroom and just showcase some content on the panel. All right, so next I'm going to move over to the Android side of the panel to show off the ScreenShare Pro. Now, this sits on the Android side of the panel. However, you do not need to be on the Android side of the panel to access the ScreenShare Pro. That's why this code is always floating there. To get the application on your mobile device, scan the QR code and then install it on your phone. All right. To get the application on your laptop, you'll have to get the installation file from either myself or one of our Tutor Touch experts. And then once it's installed, it's as simple as inputting the six digit code onto the application. No more need for any external USBs. It's just the app on your computer, a six digit code and the same Wi-Fi frequency, and then you're good to go. So what this allows you to do is it allows you to share your laptop to the panel and then also convert the, the touch as well as share your mobile device and split the screen accordingly. So I'm gonna quickly just go 8807, start sharing my screen. It does give the option to share the panel to my laptop. However, I wanna start sharing my screen to the panel. And then as soon as I say start sharing, you can see it's my background and it has transferred the touch for me. So if I would be to open up an Excel document over there, it will open it on my computer. So no need for carrying anything around like your laptop if you wanna have your content displayed on the panel. Then I'm just gonna quickly add my mobile device to showcase how it will split the screen. So 458807. And then once you start say start sharing, it will split the screen accordingly and you have a couple of different options for your phone because the touch does not get transferred. 
All right, so then if you add two more devices, there will be a line down in the middle and you'll have screen one, two, three, and four, making it great for collaboration work or anything like that. To remove anything from there, it's as simple as pressing the power button. All right, then I'm gonna quickly move back to the PC and just touch on to the fact that this is a computer and you are able to run any of the Microsoft Office applications, so specifically PowerPoint, Word, and Excel. And luckily for us, because Microsoft has implemented the touch features into these, you are able to draw on Word or in any of these programs. So let's say you go, you can then write with your hand on the hello and the whole 20 touch is also transmitted onto the Word program. All right. So that was just a basic brief overview on the EG series panels, all of the features and applications that we think you might find useful. Thank you so much for watching. Please follow, like, and share. My name is Yaku from Touch.